Welcome to the Hot Cakes Podcast. I am your host, Kid Bagheera, and this podcast is brought to you by Black Rain Books. And here we have featured flavors of passion, a taste for all, and it is 15 short stories about various different women, black, white, yellow, red, brown, and other in different situations, all ending with the same goal, climax. So if you're into erotica or sex or hardcore, whatever, this is for you. If you're into porn without the pictures, you like to read it and that's how you like to get off, that's for you. Uh, do not take it lightly, do not. Um, and I say that not because I wrote it, but because someone who got it took it lightly and was somewhere in the corner balled up. So by me saying that, you already know, all right? She took it lightly. She thought it was a game. She found out the hard way. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. All right, so you can take the shit lightly. You can think I don't know what I'm talking about. You can think I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna let you know right here, right now, that I do, all right? And uh, there's a few others that's gonna fuck around and find out as well. I'm talking about, oh, is it hardcore? I need something spicy. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is it, this, this, this is it. You want some spice? You need some spice in your life? This is it. Um, and the funny thing is because who I'm telling y'all about, I told her that the other one wants some spicy and I was like, I need you to just like co-sign that. Just let her know. Cause me, I'm very modest for some stupid reason when it comes to that. I don't know why. Uh, I don't really be saying shit. Like I'm just let the work do the talking for itself. I don't have, I feel like I don't have to say anything. I don't have to hype it up. Like you could take it and, and, and get a snippet. Like, it, I'm not even beefing about that. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, she was just laughing like, oh, <laughs> she gonna get that spice. Like, you know, basically telling her to like, be careful what you wish for type shit. Cause you gonna end up like how she was. So anyway, um, so that's that with that. And with all that being said, this is K26. Mavs at Celtics game four slash finals recap. Let's get to it. I got my cup. I got some white sangria. Oh, wait, wait, wait. White peach sangria that my wife made. It's got some uh, strawberries and oranges in there. However, I don't want any fruit at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that in there. Keep letting it, uh, as they say, ferment, I believe, in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm let it just stay submerged in there for a little longer, and I'm gonna eat the fruit a little later. But anyway, let's get to it. So, oh, that's damn good right there. Anyway, with all that being said, congratulations to the Boston Celtics on championship number 18 the first in 16 years and i don't know I, I i like i'm a huge conspiracy theorist and i just be trying to figure out how the fuck do this shit be lining up the way it be lining up they won on the same fucking date and it's like how the fuck does that even happen you know what i mean like is somebody sitting behind the scenes orchestrating all this shit like, sometimes I feel like, is any of this shit real? Like, even the shit that, did, like, just writing a book, is that real? Did somebody else do it? Like, are they taking out, um, you know, like, in uh, John Wick, when all them girls be sitting behind there and they be doing this with the courts and shit? And I think that's how they used to do it with the phones or something like that. I don't I don't know what that shit's called, but I, I do believe I know what I'm talking about. But anyway... And I hooked up to something and they just take one chord out and be like, okay, it's time to write. Okay, it's time to go to work. Okay, it's like, cause some of this shit just do not add up for me. And I know if you're not a conspiracy theorist, you wish I shut the fuck up cause I don't make any sense and I sound like a retard. And that's fine. 
that is all fine and dandy. However, for those of you who know what the fuck I'm talking about, you're like, yes, exactly, that's it. So it's a give and take and it's 50 50, and it is what it is. But anyway, um, with all that being said, this was one of the most boringest finals in a long time. Uh, nobody picked these two teams. Nobody. If you're obviously a Mavs fan, you had the Mavs in the finals. If you're obviously a Celtics fan, you had the Celtics fan. Yep, you had the Celtics in the finals. That's who picked these two teams. Nobody sat there and said, you know what? I want to see Kyrie play his old team in the finals. Nobody said that shit. Um, and if you did pick this, if you did pick this finals, I want, I really want to see your bracket because I know you didn't line it up the way it happened. You probably had, I'm trying to think who was in the West. I don't think anybody had Minnesota in the conference finals like that either. I know everybody had Boston in the conference finals. I know. They've been to seven, no, they've been to six out of seven. In the last, Tatum's been in the league seven years, they've been to six. So clearly you was gonna have Boston in the conference finals. However, two appearances and one ring in seven years, that's that's not impressive. That is not all-time great. That is not generational great, none of that. So, you know, hey. And again, Tatum's not even the damn MVP because he ain't got his shit together. Like, he's still shit in the bed. So, at some point, he gonna have to get his shit together if he's really gonna be like, oh, this, this big generational talent and all this and that. Like, right now, I know they can't, well, right now it's not, I guess it's not time to be talking about the greatest 100 players, right? Even though we know what's coming. And we all know he's going to be on that list. But if it was up to me, he wouldn't be on the list as of right now. That's just me. I don't really care about the, the, the six conference finals appearances. I don't. It's given LeBron and it's given... The conference is weak as fuck. And all this weird shit just keep happening every fucking year. And they letting you kind of get there. That's that's what it's giving right now. Um, nobody's expecting Boston to repeat except for Boston. Let's be clear on that. I was having a conversation at work with my dog. And we both like, they not they not going back. They're not, they're not going to fucking win. They're not repeating. It's not going to happen. Unless a bunch of niggas get hurt again. And this entire playoff run, every fucking team had the star player go out. So what are we talking about? So with all that being said, congratulations to JB for getting his shit together. It's his team. He's been there longer, only a year, but I mean, hey. <laughs> uh, it's his team. So, you know, it's only right he got the finals MVP, right? Even though it's not really his team. I don't know. I don't, I don't really give a fuck. I don't, I'm not getting into all that. Whose team it is, this and that. But what I do know is that the Mavericks should have won. If Kyrie would have played the way he played in the Western Conference Finals, they would have won. However, for whatever reason, he didn't. I don't know if... And I, and I know I talked about... And everyone has seen the the meme of him stomping on Lucky and he hadn't won a game since, right? And he's only won one game and it's been hella games. So, you know, and there was four of those games in the playoffs before this uh, final started. So, you know, that has a lot to do with it maybe. Um, but I, I feel like he just, he still didn't bring it though. You know what I mean? He did not perform how he should have performed. And I don't give a fuck if you want to bring up the lucky stomp or not. Nigga, he scored, he underperformed the first two games. There was no reason why Dallas shouldn't have won one of those first two games. And... When they got back to the crib, other than game four, it's like, well, what's up? You know, game five, they just got completely annihilated. 
you know so but um i guess the real question is now what are the Celtics going to do? Like, do they think this Brown and Tatum thing can work since they won? Um, because when Brown got his uh, finals MVP, I didn't even see Tatum next to him. Like, where the fuck was he even at? So that already lets you know, like, they do not fuck with each other. So I guess you could say it's kind of a Kobe Shaq thing. Obviously, to a lesser degree because neither one of them are either one of them i know we in the past kind of like was saying tatum was young kobe but we see he's not um and obviously no one has ever considered brown you know any kind of great or whatever or whatever but you know you get what i'm saying like two stars on the team winning and can't get along so one gotta go right but who do you let go? Because you gave Brown the super max. Not that Tatum's not going to get one, but, you know, so <laughs> for me, I don't know. I, I feel like you might as well just let it ride out till one of them say, get me up out of here. You know what I mean? Like, don't do anything rash. Keep building around both of them. You know what I mean? Um, why not? You know, you did win, so... Fuck it. Like, you won. So it worked. You know what I mean? I think that Holiday, getting Holiday was the best thing they could have did. Um, and obviously KP too, but he's got to stay fucking healthy. I wish he would have had a, a game, one performance, because then he would have been the MVP. That way both of them wouldn't even have one. And then they got to like kind of keep playing to see who's going to be the better one. Because now, you know, Brown got the upper hand. You know, he got the he got the MVP. Like to me that's that's what it's about. Like you can you can have rings, but if you ain't got the MVP to go with it, it's like, oh okay. You know. But um getting getting holiday really took put them over the top. Now, would they have been put over the top had Giannis, Dane, and Middleton not got hurt? That is the fucking question. So with that being said, hopefully they can stay healthy because that to me would be that would be a great Eastern Conference Finals. And then the conversation about, bro, y'all got to stop this East and West bullshit. Just throw all the teams in there and whoever wins, wins. If it's two East teams playing in the championship, so the fuck what? If it's two West teams playing in the championship, so the fuck what? Too many times we have seen the Western Conference Finals or the Eastern Conference Finals actually be the finals and the finals is boring as fuck. Like, I don't think anyone would have been mad if the mad, well, no, no, not that one because that, that didn't go the way we thought it was gonna go. That only went, what, five? That, yeah, that went five, right? I'm talking about, uh, Dallas and Minnesota. That only went five. But let's say Denver and Minnesota would have been the Western Conference Finals. And it went the same way. Nobody would have been mad if that was the finals. You know what I mean? Looking at the finals that we got, this whole East-West shit got to stop. It has to fucking stop. So, because next year, we're not going to get a Boston and Milwaukee finals. We're just, we're not, we 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 not. I, I, and I already know that shit because somebody gonna get hurt. Nobody can stay fucking healthy, and it's not gonna fucking happen. Even though that's what we want. Now, obviously, we want the Knicks in the conference finals, and we want the Knicks in the finals. However, what the fuck are they about to do? Are they about to fuck they team up to get Booker? Because if they do that, that's gonna fuck everything up. Now, you trade Randall and a million picks for book, cool. That's, I'm good with that. You keep everybody and you add in somebody, that's fine. Cause y'all gotta get rid of Randall at this point. Like y'all can't keep him, but you can't get rid of him, Hart and other good players just for Booker. It's no, 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 no. You can't do that. Then you got Indiana. They don't have to do anything. They just gotta stay healthy. So, 
you know, hey, if niggas stay healthy, then, you know, it'll be all right. But as of right now, the Eastern Conference Finals will be Boston and whoever. They have the better team. And even though I don't care for either one of their superstars like that, or stars, whatever you want to call them, if one goes down, the other one can carry the load. You do have a one-two punch. You have a true one-two punch, and the other can get it done. Because the other one is going to shine more because they don't have to share that spotlight. You know what I mean? So Boston is sitting pretty right now. They do have a good chance, a good to great, a good to great chance at repeating. I just don't think that they will. Now, as far as Dallas. You got a whole bitch in Luka. So, I mean, you know, you're going to have a relatively decent season. I mean, you know, hey. Um, I don't know if Kyrie's going to stay or force his way out. But I don't see them getting back to the finals. I don't even see them getting back to the conference finals. Um, but they do have a good team, a good team that they can build off of. I don't think they're like a piece away or two pieces away. You know, I don't think they're that kind of team. I think they just needed to play better. You know, if, if Kyrie shows up in the first two games, we're, we're having a completely different conversation. The finals possibly may still be going on, you know, headed to a game seven. Um, if Kyrie and Luka both show up in game five, we're having a different conversation. If Luka doesn't bitch the whole game three, we're having a different conversation. So, you know... I don't know. Like for me, I, I'm I, I've never been high on Luca. Like so, I'm not even out on him because I was never in. So you know, as far as that being said with Luca, like I, I I couldn't tell you. Like I don't I don't really see what y'all see. You know what I mean? I just see a fat bitch playing ball that's gonna cry every time you you try to guard him. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I don't I don't see Dallas doing shit. Uh, so far as the Western Conference Finals, as of right now, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I think a lot of people are out on a lot of people are are also out on this limb with me. Um, Golden State, maybe Denver. Um, I can see Minnesota getting back. I can see them doubling down and getting more serious. Um, Ant Man didn't show up, so. You know, he gonna take the criticism and apply it in, and and apply it in a positive way, and they'll be back. But I think Golden State got one more. I think they're gonna get. I think Steph's gonna get one more ring, and then it's over with. So I know we got to see what happens with Dre and Clay. So if they stay, but even if they go. I still think Golden State. Just for the simple fact, I feel like Steph's going to get one more. And if they leave, he got everything in the world to prove. And that'll be enough motivation for him to get over the top. So, you know, we'll see what happens uh, next year and whatnot. Obviously, we're excited for next year. We can't wait. Um, it's about to be a long summer. And then come October, we know what time it is. Um, it's funny, though. <laughs> uh, Emeka or Idoka, whatever, I don't know his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that nigga, he fumbled it all for some twat. And I'm sure that twat wasn't even worth it, bro. Like, it couldn't have been. But, you know... We not. I'm not gonna sit here and, and and bash him to the unteamed degree, as if Nia isn't responsible for any of it. Um, I don't believe no man wakes up and says, "You know what? I'm gonna cheat on this bitch today." You know what I mean? We're not gonna sit here and pretend like she was doing everything. I don't give a fuck what she said. You know what I mean? She's gonna say what needs to be said to protect her image. You know what I'm saying? In the public's eyes. So he's the villain while she's the, the victim. I don't believe that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. Now, 
don't get me wrong there are niggas who are in committed relationships yada 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 and still do what they do like that's their lifestyle cool that's cool i'm not saying he's not one of them i'm not saying he is one of them regardless of the situation nia is not absolved from it that's all i'm saying so you know i saw the meme where they was like this nigga uh gay he fumbled a ring because he wanted to fuck his work wife and that's true like he wasn't smart about it you know what i mean like he wasn't clean with it and you know hey that's that's why they say you don't shit where you eat um and let's be real nigga like it's bitches who want to fuck you just because they don't like me alone because of something she did in a movie from 20 years ago. You know, people be holding on to shit like that. They can't separate, you know, fiction from nonfiction. You know what I'm saying? They can't separate TV from reality. Like, they just can't. You know, like, this nigga still mad at Mano for what he did to Pac in the Pac movie, right? Is nigga still mad about getting Kane killed in Minister Society? You know what I mean? Is nigga still mad at that nigga for raping Ebony? You know what I mean? Like it that's that's just a fucking fact though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that same nigga, they still mad at him for getting Stony Brother killed. That that's just a fucking fact. You know what I mean? So this bitches was throwing pussy at him just cause of something that she did that she don't even remember, like, whatever. You know what I mean? But, with all that being said, she's not absolved from it. But, nonetheless, he did fumble that shit, though. You know what I mean? Like, cause if, if you in that position, bro, like, if your work wife wanna fuck, you know, obviously, that's cool, whatever. Why? You can you, you can get whatever bitch, bro. Like you the head coach of one of the best teams in the NBA. Like historically and currently. You know what I mean? Like the NBA coach of the fucking worst team in the league, historically and currently, is still getting bitches. And you on one of the best fucking teams. You gonna get some bitches, bro. And it don't even matter. None of that NBA shit even fucking matters because the number one thing is you got money. You got plenty of hush money. And that's all the fuck a bitch want anyway. So, yeah, he should have been smarter about it. But, you know, like I said, I ain't going to get into all that. But anyway, this shit is funny. Um, Damn, Marcus almost was there, you know. <laughs> it, it, that, shit, that shit be fucked up, though, you know what I mean? But... I am happy for Holiday. I think that's the only... I'm happy for KP, too. Um, I feel like Phil Jackson fucked up his whole shit. Truthfully, I don't even feel like Phil should have drafted him anyway. And and Phil should have never even been brought back to the Knicks. We're going to start there anyway. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like Phil fucked that whole shit up with KP. And I'm happy for KP. Oh, Happy for Horford, obviously. So now he has one at every level. He can finally retire. Um, maybe he, he probably won't, but nonetheless, regardless, he finally got one. So I'm happy for him. And I'm happy for Holiday because I feel like Milwaukee is a fucking joke. And I hope Giannis leaves. You know what I mean? Um... Because Holiday, to me, was that missing piece for them. And I just feel like Giannis isn't taking this shit serious. I feel like Giannis was like, nigga, I got these two finals MVPs. I got the finals MVP. Like, I don't got shit else to prove. Like, regardless, I'm already a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, I'm going up in the Raptors here. And, hey is good you know what i'm saying like i do believe Giannis does feel that way because he's not taking this shit serious you know what i mean like when they when they won oh the chip now goes through Giannis, all this other shit nigga no the fuck it don't Giannis ain't even been back to the eastern conference finals since he went don't shit go through Giannis, bro 
that shit go through the Celtics. It's always gone through the Celtics except for one year. And I think they was hurt, so obviously it wasn't gonna go through them. That shit goes through the Celtics. When 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 Tatum hit the scene, he already he he did claim that. He did say that. I give him that. He's been to fucking six of seven. And I got, obviously that one year they got hurt. I, I'm assuming because they got swept or some shit. I don't know. I don't remember that one. I think that was the next year with that sophomore slump shit, if I'm not mistaken. But still, don't shit go through Giannis. There's no reason why he shouldn't have been to another one. Whether you win that bitch or not, you ain't even been close. You ain't even been close, bro. And I don't give a fuck who didn't get hurt. Bitch, you didn't get hurt. So I'm happy for Holiday, for Holiday to get that second ring. And he's definitely a Hall of Famer at this point. You cannot keep him out of the Hall of Fame. He got two rings. I want to say six-time All-Defense. Two-time All-Star. And some other good stats. You know what I mean? So... There ain't no fucking way. There ain't no fucking way. There ain't no fucking way you can keep him out. There ain't no fucking way. So, with that being said, uh, is there anybody else that I'm happy for on the Celtics? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. It's just Horford, Porzingis, and Holiday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. With all that being said, this is Cake 26, and that is that.